Here at The Conversation, we have a unique editorial process that ensures we can get the best, most reliable information to our readers. Our authors are people who really know what they're talking about. Academics and researchers writing in their area of expertise. Ideas for stories come from our readers, authors and editors. Most often, an editor scans the news to find a topic on which an academic might shed some light and then finds the right person to answer the questions that readers might have about the larger story. Other times, academics send in ideas via our website. Often these ideas are about new research. Our editors work with academics to take work made for a highly educated, niche audience into articles that all kinds of people will want to read, understand and share. When an editor accepts an idea, the first step is to create a brief which outlines major points the article will address. Then the academic author writes an article that follows that brief. Hmm. Once the article is submitted, it goes into our content management system and editors add images, charts, sound, vision and links. Next, the editor works with the academic to polish the writing and ensure the facts are right. Authors and editors work on a shared version of the article using our custom-built editing platform. The software has a readability index that goes green when the article hits the reading level of an educated 16-year-old. This makes our content a great resource for high school students. Before we publish, we ask the academic to approve the final mm. article. This ensures errors are not added in the editing process. Authors also disclose any conflicts of interest, such as funders or political party memberships. These disclosures are published alongside the article to ensure full transparency. Once published, articles are made available through Creative Commons license to thousands of media sites that republish our content, such as the ABC, CNN, National Geographic and the New Zealand Herald. And we make it easy for media, researchers and others to contact authors after publication, which regularly leads to TV, radio and print interviews, as well as other opportunities for collaboration. Throughout this process, all authors and editors are covered by our editorial charter, which protects us from commercial or political influence. Plus, there's no paywall, no sponsored content, and no native advertising. We have no ideological position. Our only agenda is to inform the public and share academic expertise. Visit theconversation.com for more.